Let's talk about the other uh, big tournament that, that just finished. The match, Clash of Claims, Jaspum versus Kramnik, Kramnik versus Jaspum. Very mediatized, very discussed, still ongoing. Um, the discussion is still ongoing because Kramnik um, seems like he's he's not ready to accept. Let's just say what uh, what happened. Maybe for good reasons. We can discuss about that. Uh, but yeah. Clash of Claims, you were supposed to make an appearance, but you ended up not. Um, did you follow? Yeah, I did. Well, I, yeah, I, I'm I'm in Madrid, so I thought about... I mean, the, the event is pretty nearby, I guess. It's like half an hour by car. It's. I could have gone. It was during like the travel day, so I was a bit tired. I didn't mm. feel like take, taking another trip too much. But I, I kind of wanted to, and then I, I was watching the stream of it, and at some point they were just like, Gotham was doing algebra, um, <laughs> and and I decided, yeah, I don't know, like what I'm going to talk about if I if I'm there, because I I think that like, they asked me uh, if I wanted to go on the show, uh, on Gotham's Twitch. Yeah. But um, and I told them like pre I told Divis, David Martinez, previously that I. That I like to come and visit for the final few hours of the match, but then yeah, it was like they're they're doing some math and writing some stuff down, and I, I didn't it didn't seem fun anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> the whole process was quite uh, quite enigmatic. Yeah, like supposedly they were going to unbox. So this was the first we were watching it live, um, and during the first day this was the first kind of big moment when they started unboxing their first batch of laptops so i don't think they accounted to how many things need to happen before those laptops are ready to be played on because it was like an hour an hour and a half of break the windows had to be updated apparently we found out later on that it wasn't updated correctly on Kramnik's laptop and that was giving him some some sort of an error on chess.com I mean the whole thing was a, a clown fiesta yeah uh, <laughs> amazing stuff yeah it was it's a fun idea from the beginning I, I thought this is a fun idea two players who are let's say we don't know who who is going to be the favorite it wasn't clear I don't think anyone who's the favorite Kramnik or, or mm -hmm. Martinez mm-hmm um, in this sort of match, which was like a long, long blitz match. So it was, okay, the format changed midway, which is also ridiculous. Initially, it was like 36 be, games, I think. And then yeah, and it ended up being 28. But it was 28. like it was supposed to be 18 over the board, 18 online. And um, and yeah, there were, there were a lot of like hiccups. I think some genuinely, uh, Vladimir was correct. I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he showed that. At some point during the game, his opponent's time is counting down, and then suddenly it just switches, and, and then he's flat, and he lost all the time on the clock. Um, and this is this is a bug. I've had that problem also I've, during. I've had this happen to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I I've had this happen to me in casual blitz. I was playing. It happened like on move three. I mean, it's happened on more than one occasion, but one I can remember clearly. I was playing Rudik Makarian, and on move three, I play like bishop c four, and then we both have three minutes. And uh, then I'm just waiting and just taking forever. He, his time is just going down forever. I'm trying to abort the game and et cetera, et cetera. And then it shows, okay, his time's at zero. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. suddenly after his time hits zero, um, the screen entirely changes. My time has gone to zero. I lose the game and he's made a move, yeah. which didn't appear on the screen before. Um, and it's happened on, on some other occasions. So this is some sort of glitch. Now, if I see that my opponent's taking like, Absurdly long. I just refresh the page. Mm -hmm. uh, but but in the middle of the game, you don't know what is absurdly long is. Like okay, if your opponent takes three minutes on the first move, yeah, that's that's probably incorrect. If your opponent takes like twenty seconds out of thirty on move, whatever, it can it can happen, right? And then you can fly. So that was a legitimate concern or. Um, complaint whatever yeah for me it, it even happened last title tuesday well during norway i decided to stream one of the title tuesdays and um in one of the games towards the last few seconds i had the impression that i had let's say 2.7 seconds and i've made my last move when i had 
more than one second on the clock. And then a couple of seconds later, it tells me that I lost on time, basically. Like I make my move, but it doesn't register with the website and then I lose on time, basically. Like I've had this happen. Um, it, it seems like it matters whether there's a big tournament happening, whether there's a lot of strain on on the website at the particular moment. I would assume that was the case during their, their match with everybody watching. Um, but yeah, it seems like, because th this was never happening to me whenever, whenever I was streaming, you know, just random games um, in the middle of the night, let's say, right? Like it never happened um, during low traffic moments, but high traffic moments, it seems like always, always happening. Yeah. Yeah, it, it can happen and it does kind of spoil a game and then maybe to spoil some, tilt someone, spoils the match a bit. Um, so that's a legitimate complaint. What Vladimir said that like chess.com is conspiring to like, or I don't know if he said that directly, but kind of hinted. Kind that, of. That chess, <laughs> that, that's obviously not true. Like, okay, nobody, uh, I like, I'm 100% I'm sure nobody actually cares about the match. Um, and and nobody was really conspiring or anything. That, that's that's a hundred percent. There's no chance. Yeah. yeah um, no, absolutely not. But that that he was affected by some glitches, is like, yeah, I, I definitely believe it. And um, although I I think Chess.com has improved. Like I remember going back I don't know six seven years whatever, I, I would try to play Title Tuesday. But I was I was physically unable to. Oh yeah, it's like, yeah. Start the time, <laughs> and then after one round, like something happens, the tournament crashes. Yeah. They try to get it set up, then they can't get it set up, and the next week they like double the prizes. Or, and this happened every time, and for years I just gave up on playing Title Tuesday because of these crashes or or uh, DDoS attacks. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what it was, but whatever it was, that were like uh, preventing tournaments from even happening. So, Chess.com has improved their servers tremendously yes dramatically absolutely, absolutely yeah well but i mean still there are some 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 issues even before the title tuesdays right like we were almost unable to play for the most part on chess.com there's the famous comment by magnus yeah stuck in the mud on it feels like you're stuck in the mud when you're playing the pieces so that was the first improvement then obviously with title tuesdays they adjusted to that as well now everything seems to be running smoothly but you do have these smoothly occasional ish. bugs yeah, smoothly -ish smoothly -ish, yes yes there's the occasional box of course yeah it, it happens it's happened very rarely to me but the exact bug that i saw that was screen recorded on a screen has happened to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. in in irrelevant games just like in some casual like the game i mentioned against rudick or yeah some other games N not in title tuesday luckily so um but yeah that 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 definitely um yeah that definitely changed I don't know if it changed the match. I think maybe they like didn't count that game. At some point, I just, like stopped following all the details of the match because a match which changes formats midway. There's um, too many. In which, like, I, I don't even understand what they're doing at some point. They're taking like 50 minute breaks. They're doing some sort of calculations about lag um, <laughs> on on a on a notepad, yes. and then Gotham is like relaying messages on his twitch uh, and he was literally doing some algebraic uh, equations <laughs> and i i just i stopped i stopped watching at that point um i really enjoyed the commentary by pepe and divis always they're, they're always really entertaining they made yes. a good show. Yes. but the actual match was uh, was a circus i have to say it was just an absolute circus and um i don't even know what to take away from the match besides that it's um, probably I think it was stupid to even have it happen. I think there's an obvious difference. We kind of understood and we kind of got to see in real time the big difference between online and over the board chess. I think in over the board chess, Kramnik was the better player. Um, when it came to online, it became quite obvious that Jaspam seems to be the better player um better equipped player because in you know in terms of let's say accuracy in terms of better positions kramnik had plenty of chances but it felt like at some point when the clock was getting down the last few seconds whether it was because of the lag i don't think every single game and every single miss and every single mistake was because of the lag but we could see that jospom had let's say 
not better nerves necessarily, but just better skills when it came to um, to online chess. And this was three plus two. Now, if you consider three plus one, which we generally have in Title Tuesdays, then it becomes even more um, But I, I think this was, this was actually fair. For, for over the board, you shouldn't do three one. You can, but the, I, I was playing like some casual games with one second increment recently. And and you mostly flag. Yeah, three, three one is different. The, yeah, the, over the board. The hand movement takes takes like a second. Yeah. So um, so three two over the board. I, I think it just it, the pieces move slower, which is natural, right? You're not moving a, a mouse half a centimeter. You're you're moving your hand to, to the piece and to the clock and so on. So uh, that was that was logical. That they could have played three one online would also be logical. But I don't think that players suddenly become like better or worse. In a dramatic way whether they have a one second or two second increment i think no increment could change quite a bit um but that's just because you have the possibility of flagging people well with three one online still flagging is oh it's very rare. possible like but it's very possible three one but not in simple possible. positions like not in in rook against rook you're not flagging like, of course i could flag in a complicated position because i can't find the movement time but in 3-0 you you can get flagged in in like objectively completely simple drawn positions rook against rook opposite colored bishops with one pawn left these things where you you have to like move your mouse as fast as you, as you can um in 3-0 you actually get flagged in 3-1 you don't so there is that like fundamental difference yeah um but yeah it's like the match itself didn't tell us much they were very closely matched uh and jospin was uh clearly better at the end in the final day um in the final few games but overall it was a relatively close match i guess 14 and a half to 12 and a half i think was the i think fi- 15 and a half to, to 11 and a half Fi- no 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 yeah, like yeah. 15 and a half 11 and a half? did i get it off that much well it, it became kind of um one-sided towards the end and i think it ended 15 and a half to 11 and a half and i think they didn't even play the last game or something like that um Maybe I'm maybe I'm checking the score, but it's it's possible. But let me let me just um, check for yeah, fifteen and a half, eleven and a half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I thought I, for some reason I thought it was less, but yeah, that's that's a pretty convincing victory. And at the end, it didn't look um, like in the last last day, Jose did win quite. So heavily. well, well, the thing is, Kramnik won the over the board, seven and a half, six and a half. That's, I think, 14 games. Um, and then basically lost the uh, the other one, what, like 9-5, nine, nine something like that? Um, My math is, is off right oh, now. One no, of, 4. One of these games, like the last game? 8-4, eight, 8-4, four. Eight, four, I guess, yeah. Oh, the last game was the glitch game. That was where, like, click on the last game there. Let's see. So the last game was the glitch game and they didn't count that or what? Yeah, like even when you play replay through the game, it, it kind of looks weird. Like just replay through it. You see Kramnik is white. I, I don't know. Was it the last game played? I guess it was. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Rook uh-huh. C7. Uh-huh. 23 seconds. Uh, Kramnik showed a video of this on your Twitter. Bishop F1 was played. Zero seconds. And then Black plays Queen A5. So I don't know. Like normally if you flag, you don't. It doesn't uh-huh. register the move bishop f1. Uh-huh. But somehow yeah, he flagged yeah. and it registered bishop f1 and queen a5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even yeah. like the replay is is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, any, so yeah, let's say, let's say 14 and a half, 11 and a half, because this game, I guess, um, we can like discount it for that reason. I don't yeah. know. I mean, this, Kramnik this is, is completely works. winning at this point, by the way. Completely yeah, but win. we can't say that he's going to win, so let's just like nullify <laughs> the result. I mean, it doesn't change the match result, but yeah. But this game, uh, the the glitch does objectively change the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the glitch speaks for itself. 